Okay, guys, I'm here today with Gary Tono. Huge honor for me, as always. Guys, uh, if you watch Gary competing, he's always like going from submissions to submissions. So we just shot an entire structure with him, all about submission chains. So how to pretty much like unify the system from John Danaher, right? And uh, it came out amazing. And today he's gonna show us here one move that he was just teaching me right now, like how to go from the back to the guillotine. So imagine that you're attacking your opponent's back and then you go from the back to the guillotine. So when he first told me, I was like, what? <laughs> and then when he showed me, I was like, man, that makes sense. And it was amazing. So we, we, we want to share here with you guys. So so, we are... so uh, guys, we talk a lot about this in the DVD, but uh, there's many times where you go on to the attack on your training partner, whether it's in the back or any other area, and you're having a lot of trouble. Okay, whether it be because of your training partner's uh, specific defense or they're just really tough to submit from certain positions. All right, so I might say to myself, man, I like this system a lot, but I'm having trouble submitting my training partner. I'd like to go to a different submission system to get the job done. Or maybe the guillotine's my favorite move. Either way, all I'm gonna look to do is eject my strangle hand to start things off, and I'm gonna place it on the opposite side of my training partner's head. From this position, I look to dive underneath my training partner's shoulder, okay? Now, I'm, I'm gonna almost start the process of letting my training partner out by removing my left hook, but it's very important where I place the left hook afterwards. After I remove the left hook, I can't just stay here. My training partner will continue to try to get out. I'm gonna post my foot directly behind my training partner's spine. Now, he can move, but in a limited fashion. When he tries to turn towards me, it's a little difficult. When he tries to turn away, it's somewhat difficult because of the elbow. Now, from here, I reach my hand underneath my own hamstring, like so. Okay, so I went from shoulder to inside hamstring. What this typically does is it convinces my training partner to start to turn this direction. As he turns this direction, he'd like to come up to his knees, but what would make that even more comfortable is if he removes this inside arm. So as he turns to his knees and removes the arm, it's a perfect opportunity for me to connect to my wrist and punch in the high elbow guillotine, where he doesn't even realize the threat exists all of a sudden I'm in on the guillotine. Let's do it one more time, okay? I get into a transition where I'm on my training partner's back. Maybe we've already fallen, okay? I eject the strangle hand and I place it underneath my training partner's shoulder like so. It's also possible to play around with going into Kimura situations and things from here, all right? But for the time being, we'll just control the shoulder. I'll pop up on my elbow. I place a foot behind the tailbone. Now, no matter where he moves, it's difficult, okay? I'm able to slow my training partner down. I transition to the hamstring. I can even do this move rolling the other direction, so I'll show that next. I roll the other direction. Let's say he tries to bridge heavily towards his left. As he does so, I put my head to the mat and I roll through. As I do this, my training partner will remove the arm again and I go right into my high elbow transition. Man, that's amazing. One more time, Gary, show it. Of course. We'll do it the original way this time. As we fall, I'm in the back, I'm having trouble submitting from the back system and I wanna to move to front headlock. I scoop the shoulder, I prop and I post. I grab my hamstring, and as my training partner tries to roll towards me, comes to his knees, he ejects the arm, and I grab my own wrist where my watch would be. From here, my leg comes over top, I crunch the chin to the chest for the finish. So guys, uh, yeah, you also got my back, and you switch the arm, you can just go, yeah, yeah of course. So, also we're here, and then it would, uh, I was expecting some crazy arm bar here. I was not thinking about <laughs> yeah. guillotine at all. So I think that's that, that's that's one thing that I saw here that was very, very interesting. And the second thing, as you said, when you take, this is amazing, like, because you're not just taking the leg out and letting me like scoop your leg. So you're placing this foot here and I really feel completely stuck here. There's not, not much to do. So I might start acting like desperate, yeah. right? So pay attention to this guys. When I try to go there, I really feel like some gap here to pull my arm out. It works perfect to take the arm out. So I'm gonna pull my arm out, and there he is. And the guillotine is already like super, super tight. So man, it was really, really cool. You developed Thanks, that, how was it? Yeah, man, that's good. Man, that's awesome. So guys, uh, Gary just did this entire structure all about this, how to go from one submission to the next submission, to the next submission, to the next submission. And I think like, I always see him get invited for like all type of super fights all the time. And I think a lot is because of that, because he has this ability to switch from submission, submission, submission. And if he does it, I think you can do it too. So make sure to check that out. We're gonna launch it soon at bjjfanatics.com. And maybe by the time you're watching, you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so right, much, thank Gary, you, appreciate it. Appreciate it.
Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.